Continuing our coverage of a terrifying story of Klamath Falls after a man broke into a home and stole a baby. The district attorney is crediting two law enforcement officers for bringing the baby home safe. NBC 5's Nikki Torres has more. Police say Brandon Stone had the baby on this roof. Now today that baby is safe, but deputies say the situation could have had a very different outcome if it weren't for the expertise and training of local law enforcement. Dispatch County and I'm setting disturbance 2727 Summering Lane, female screaming in the phone. Child heard crying in the background. It's a very unusual situation and thank goodness they don't happen every day, but our deputies do train with this. Um, every day we're dealing with people with mental illness or with a narcotics abuse problems, people under stress. A perfect storm of all three circumstances. Klamath County Operations Lieutenant Randall Swan says that may have been the case early Wednesday morning. It's an update. Our subject is on top of the roof, uh, right next to the uh, chimney. And he has a baby with Radio traffic reveals intense moments during a standoff. The occupants of this residence do not know him. Brennan Stone accused of holding a 13-month-old boy while standing on a roof about 25 to 30 feet above ground. One of the deputies, uh, Ryan Caber, and one of the officers from the city police, Terry Amos, did an outstanding job in speaking with the, the gentleman and convincing him to bring the baby down. The officers climbed up to the roof themselves. Just 15 minutes later, investigators say Stone handed over the baby and was taken into custody. I'm extremely impressed with both the cooperation between the sheriff's office and the city police. We work very closely together. Swan says that partnership is what leads to happy endings like this one. Whoever it is that's involved uh, with these type of situations, we have an extremely well choreographed uh, response to these type of incidences. In Klamath Falls, Nikki Torres, NBC5 News. Nikki, thank you very much. Stone was supposed to be in court today. However, the appearance was rescheduled for later in the week.